This is where I experienced one of the most amazing moments of my life when I was chosen as the 2012 Dublin Rose of Tralee. The Dublin Rose 2012 is Arlene O'Neill. Going to Tralee has been a life-changing experience, but some of my happiest moments came here as a Dublin Rose contestant during an action-packed Dublin Rose campaign. I didn't realise how much fun was involved in the whole process. Some of my highlights were Shelburne Park, the Dublin Rose Bowl, the trip to Trim, and travelling with A.D. Roach to Belarus, and of course, the many fantastic nights out. But nothing was more special than the selection weekend and the Dublin Rose Tour. All of the girls are put up for the three nights of the selection weekend for free in the Carlton Hotel. There is a stage show on each night and for the girls who are not on that night, they are brought off on a tour around Dublin, which is the best crack ever. Part of the Dublin Rose experience was making all new friends from going in on the first day to not knowing anyone but thanks to all the social events we had great crack and then we've all made friends for life. I 
much charity work before my involvement with the Dublin Rose, but as a result of that I was introduced to AD Roach's charity, Chernobyl Children International. Myself and a group of fellow Dublin Roses went over to Belarus to volunteer for a few days in an orphanage and it was an incredible experience. watched the Rose Tree on television, but it wasn't until Gangfuss actually went down to Tralee to support Arlene that I saw what the festival was really about. So if you want to find out more about this wonderful experience for Dublin girls, you can contact the Dublin Rose team through Facebook or email and I promise you, you will have the best fun ever.